tornado. What the heck? Welcome to Dan's ADV. I'm out here on the 2022 1290 Super Adventure R from KTM. This is the Million Dollar Highway. I'm in Colorado, almost to Ure between Silverton and Ure. Look at that view. If all goes according to plan and it's not too windy, I'll throw some drone footage up over this. I'm really excited about this video. I'm really excited about this trip. I get to ride with two industry legends. Industry being the adventure motorcycling industry. Um, I'm out here about to do a tour. It's going to be a camping tour. The best, my favorite, and I believe the best part of the COBDR, which is the passes between Uray and Lake City. These two guys, Bill Dragoo and Dusty with West 38 Moto, They've been riding all this stuff long before we knew to call it a backcountry discovery route. Long before the backcountry discovery route put their maps out. These guys were riding, exploring all the trails around the San Juan Mountains. This is just the last few miles of my 850 mile journey to get here. So I might flash back and show you a little bit of the highs and the lows. Looks like this is an off-road entrance here. I just see some dirt bikes coming out of there. There's the Alpine Loop. Uh, show you some highs and lows of the 850 miles that it took to get here. So, without any further ado, Bill Dragoo. Bill, where do I even start? So, I mean, he raced motocross. He raced mountain bikes. He was, in 2010, he represented the U.S for the BMW GS Championship, where you know they only send three riders out of each country. And in 2010, he was selected. So this guy can ride. Um, he started the DART School, Dragoo Adventure Training, uh, Adventure Rider Training, and has been training, you know, probably thousands of guys um, based out of Norman, which is only about an hour and a half from where I live and how I originally hooked up with Bill. But also does tours like this and training. I know that the Overlanding Expo uses him to train on site and lots of different um, training and touring opportunities that you can find at his website. He's also an author, prolific. Um, from his website, you can see what looks like hundreds of articles published in magazines. Um, everything from Overlanding to Adventure Moto Magazine. He's done bike launch write-ups for major magazines, major manufacturers, uh, all sorts of travel blogs. And so, yeah, where to even start or stop with Bill? He's a pilot, he's a flight instructor, he's got a commercial pilot rating, um, Eagle Scout, all the things. So he knows his stuff and he's been doing this for years and years and a great guy to hang out with and learn from. And then Dusty, I don't know Dusty as well. I haven't been able to spend as much time with him, but I did, of course, research his bio. And he quit a successful marketing and sales career to pursue his passion of adventure motorcycling in 2014. And man, I've got a lot of respect for anybody that is willing to take the risk, give up a regular paycheck, and pursue their passion. Uh, that takes guts. And since then, Dusty's West 38 Moto Company has, uh, again, just like Bill, trained and ridden with thousands of guys. If you look at his calendar, West38Moto.com, and look at the calendar, he has events all year, uh, pretty much from February to October. He's running four to six events a month. I mean, busy. He does level one and level two training, level three training, immersion tours, like what I'm doing, camping tours, hotel tours. Um, so, and then about once a, a year, it seems like, he and Bill put their two businesses together and they do a combined uh, tour together. So 
in 2022 I actually was able to uh, use Bill's truck and my trailer and we rode to California together 24 hour ride each way and we toured Baja and that was such a fun trip that when I saw that Bill and Dusty were doing this in Colorado and it would work with my schedule uh, I couldn't resist although for me camping is a bit of a unknown I do um, I, I'm not super experienced camping and so we'll see how that goes but you don't have to camp to ride with Bill and Dusty and there's Ure. the nice thing about this trip if you are camping which we are is that I've brought my bike fully loaded with uh, all the camping gear and everything I felt like I needed to make myself comfortable way more clothes than I would normally take but I get to throw it all at the support truck so my bike will be just fine on the trails I, and then when we transition to Buena Vista again all the luggage goes in the support truck and I don't have to worry about it so anyway I hope you enjoy this video the rest of it should be riding with Bill and Dusty meeting a bunch of guys and then I'll do a recap at the end and talk about maybe how the 1290s doing and how the trip went so a slight change of plans I recorded that video obviously before I was on the trip I'm back from the trip and I took some amazing footage the colors in Colorado were changing the things we got to ride were epic and I honestly don't even know how to how to show everyone how amazing it was what I've decided to do is this first video is going to be a highlight reel I'm gonna put some cool music to it sit back grab your favorite beverage and enjoy some of the top scenes from the trip and then if you'll like and subscribe you'll be notified when I release the next video and that's going to be more details of following Dusty and Bill on the best of the Colorado BDR and I'm going to make a third video and talk about some of the pros and cons of touring and what exactly happened on the trip day by day and uh, what it's like to camp and tour with Dusty and Bill. So hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of this video and stick around for the next two upcoming. Thanks for watching. Tornado, what the heck? Oh, we should have taken Bill's line. That's the view. Ready? We're about to have a rider meet. Oh. Wow. Shot. That's just 
just incredible. After lunch this morning, so we're just doing a quick lunch and then might be going. Such a good view. That was it.